Now, I welcome you back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to add images to our work and deal with the little manipulation, how to manipulate them a bit. Okay, so in this lesson, let's start with how to import our image. So we click on this particular icon here, the plus icon here. Then you go to from gallery. So you click on from gallery. And you go and select the image that you want to use. Okay, so there's the image that I want to use. So just click on that. Okay. So anytime you want to import an image, it, it, it will give an option to crop it. That's change the um, the size of it. So or push or the position of it. So we have the rotation sections here. So you can use that one to rotate it. If you want to crop it in a circular form like what I've done, just click on this one. It will give you the option to make it what circular. You can see how it has been cropped. Okay. So we can also use this one, the aspect ratios to as you want it to be. You can just Click on them, it will change and give you the ratio that you want to use for that particular image. So you click on the preference or how you want it to be. Okay, so we want to use the one is to one. Okay, then this is the position. Uh, if you want to move it up or left or right, you see the direction of it. If you're okay with it, you just click on that. But you can see that okay, let's let's undo how to just did and let's go back again. So you can also click on this select icons here. You can use image from memory uh, gallery to then you can also use image from a camera. You can connect your camera and take a picture of it. I always like to use this option. So let's go back there again. <coughs> And then select our picture. So if you are using your phone, your phone, you will go to your galleries, you go to your files, and where you want your picture. For your picture, you just select it. And we want to use this one, so you just click on this, and you are good to go. Then click on the correct sign. Now you are going to have this effect here. Now, if you cause the background is white, then you are not going to see any effect. But because my, my image also is having a back, a white back. Background. Now we want to edit it, so let's go to um, this option here. Make sure it's selected, and we go to um, let's go down. Let's go down. I just want to add some cool effect to it. Okay, so I want us to add a stroke to the image. So we click on this one. Let's enable it. Okay, let's select some colors here. Okay, so we see that we are having a stroke to our test, and we want to uh, add a powerful color stroke. So let's go to our image and select a color from our image. So I want to select this particular blue here. Okay, and uh, um, let me, let me increase the the shade or the um, the deepness of it. Okay. Now let me increase the width of that particular uh, stroke. Then you are good to go. So you click on this one here. Okay. So now you can see that we have a powerful effect here. Now we want to design a simple baby card for let's say our friend here. So we can add a background color. Let's try to add a background color to our test. Uh, sorry, our our image. Rather, our paper. So let's um, let's go to this session here. Um, where is it? Okay. So let's click on that one. The the three square. The the two squares here. Then click on image. Then we apply a color. Okay, so no, we don't want this color to complex with 
So with this, with this particular shape, um, let's give it a color. So let's go to color and uh, and try to um, add this particular. Let's pick the color of the or the um, oh, sorry. Let's want to use the color of the stroke. Okay. So I think this one is okay. So let's select this one. Okay. So we have this color here. We want it to blend with the the, the stroke here. Okay. So we can also add a stroke to that particular shape. So let's add a stroke. Let's add a stroke to it. Um, let's go. Let's go and change the stroke color. Um, I think. Let me. Let me. Let me. Okay. Let me go and pick. On the background and see okay but i think that will not work that will not work for us so okay so let me use white let me use white okay so after the stroke has been done let's increase the stroke with okay so i think this one is okay So we have this effect here. So now the next thing I'm going to do, let's introduce a text. So let's add some text, some cool text here. So let's say um, happy birthday. So we are trying to create a simple birthday uh, flyer for a friend, let's say a colleague who uh, is celebrating his birthday and just want to give this one as a surprise package. So that is it, that's what you are doing.
that you must notice that you can still you can also import your your fonts. Okay. Okay, let me use this one and see. But any font that you like, you can just use it. So you can just use this one and uh, you um bolding it to and let's italic it applies it and uh, change the color to um, a different color uh, together okay so we can we can use black let's use black for the name okay so this one is cool okay so you can see that we have this powerful design here which you can also design for your friend so this is a simple web day flyer web day, uh, design for a friend okay so in this lesson we today's lesson we learn how to import an image how to copy the image and how to add some text to make a powerful design